All right, let's get into match three. This week we are playing the mono green liquid metal coating deck in modern. So far we're 2-0, we've beaten a blue-white control deck, and we have beaten a Jeskai, Ragavan, Urza Saga, Emery, something or other deck. Hopefully we can keep up the string of good luck. We've had pretty good matchups so far too, so that's been nice. We lost the die roll this time. <laughs> Opponent's thinking about whether they want to play first or not really hard, it seems like. They are going to play first, so we're not playing against Manila Stretch, it seems. Gigantha... Hmm. We don't have another land, but we do have Arbor Elf and Utopia Sprawl, and a decent hand other than that. They're playing Gigantha, which makes me think they're probably either playing Tron or... Affinity. This hand's really good against Affinity. It's not really good against Tron. I think I'm just going to keep it and see what happens. I can Abundant Harvest for a land to Utopia Sprawl on turn 2 if I need to. And that doesn't give us 4 mana on turn 2, but it still gives us our land drops and ramps us significantly, so... We'll keep. They are playing Affinity. So we really want Karn. Let's see. Still go with Arbor Elf. I don't think it's worth Nature's Claiming that Knight immediately. I'd rather do that to his Urza Saga. Plays Frogmite, that's okay. I will not block your Mem Knight. So let's go... Abundant Harvests. And I'm just going to go ahead and Nature's Claim his Urza Saga on my turn. So that no nothing funky happens. double enchant this for us, because I don't think he has a way to get rid of that. Nature's Claim, Urza Saga. Beautiful. We have seven mana next turn. Sadly, these lands are indestructible, so we can't actually kill them without animating them with Karn. We're getting Blackstaff. We're gonna kill that Urza Saga again for sure, though. Probably with Wickerbo Elder. Well, now, we do now we're down three mana, sadly. Come on, land off the top. Land off the top, beautiful. Wickerbo Elder, eat Urza Saga. Humpty Tumpty Tom. <laughs> Our opponent seems to be realizing that we're playing the all Rex Age effects deck. Should just mean that we get an easy win over the course of this match, but it's still possible that they establish a board before we can start blowing stuff up, especially when they're on the play. Kill that.
opponent concedes. <laughs> Alright. We don't really... Yeah, we don't really change anything. Uh, I could bring in Shadow Spear so we can destroy his lands, I guess. So then Karn doesn't have to wish for them, because if we have Karn, we can already do that. We really don't have anything we want to side out, but we can get rid of an Abundant Harvest since it's just a one-drop that competes with Shadow Spear at that point. Like, they don't really have... They don't really have so many... Burn effects, or counterspell effects, rather, that Veil of Summer makes sense. Maybe I bring in Pithing Needle. Cut the other Abundant Harvest, bring in Pithing Needle. So I can name Urza's Saga. This seems kind of weird. I think I just leave the Abundant Harvest and bring in Shadow Spear and call that a day. Because now we can, if we have Shadow Spear but we don't have Karn, we can still use Reclamation Sages and Manglehorn to blow up their indestructible lands. Which they have at least a handful of. They don't play a ton. Let's see what happens in game two. That was pretty good for us being on the draw. We know they have at least some burn spells so they can kill our Arbor Elves. opponent is contemplating whether or not to play first, it seems. I wonder how long they're gonna be waiting on the screen. It's possible that we might have just salted them out of the game and they might just make us wait the five minutes or whatever for uh, for their timer to expire, but they haven't disconnected. So it makes me think that that's not the case. But we have been sitting here for at least a minute, waiting for game two to start. I wonder if there's anything else I could have sideboarded that I should have. Trinosphere doesn't seem great because they have all those mana reducing effects anyway and they're playing a bunch of expensive stuff that way. Weather the Storm doesn't seem great, they don't really have that much burn. Okay, they did choose to play first, now we're just waiting on, I guess, mulligans? Yeah. Hand's not the fastest, but it goes kill your thing, kill your thing, Karn. So I mean, I don't see why we should mulligan this necessarily. If we draw a, if we draw an Arbor Elf or something, draw an Arbor Elf or even better, probably Utopia Sprawl. That would be very good. We can't kill Urza Saga with this hand, but I think it's still worth keeping, just because Karn's so good against them, and we can kill two of their larger threats before we re before we resolve Karn, so then Karn can hopefully just be on a mostly empty board plusing and getting rid of lands and stuff. And even if they do kill the Karn through combat or something, we should be able to resolve the second Karn too. <sighs> I don't know if there's a deck other than ours that is better against Affinity, frankly. Like, we're just ext extremely pre-sideboarded against them, so I very much hope that we don't humiliate ourselves some way by figuring out how to lose. Okay, we've been here for two minutes now, Jesus. Alright. We'll keep. Yes, please. Darksteel Citadel, that's fine. Springleaf Drum, that's fine. Memnite, okay. Frogmite, okay. 
draw Vivian. Not very exciting. Not very exciting. We would rather have a land or a accelerant of some sort, I think. And he's gonna at least get to have a decent turn two without us interacting with him, sadly. Since we don't have a nature's claim here. He's sandbagging his time really hard, though. I wonder what I'm going to target with the center's deliverance. I feel like it might be Springleaf Drum, and then I can play Manglehorn, kill Frogmite. Manglehorn can block Mimnite after that, and Karn can start plussing on the Darksteel Citadel and other lands. We'll see. Yeah, if he plays Urza Saga on this coming turn, I'll probably Dissenter's Deliverance Springleaf Drum so he can't activate Urza Saga at least very easily. <laughs> but we'll see. <sighs> if opponent wants to do anything at all. Hopefully. I do respect our opponent being named Blink Moth Nexus and just kind of immediately signaling what he is. I like that kind of lifestyle. <laughs> Alright, play Spire, Bl Spire Bluff Bridge. What does he have to follow it up with, though? Seven drop? Yeah, Thought Monitor. He might be able to snowball from here, that'd be very annoying. Utopia Sprawl. So we can Utopia Sprawl our land. Green. Please. And, think, and then I think we just go ahead and get rid of Springleaf Drum. Well, maybe. Maybe we hold the Dissenter's Deliverance. I want to get him off of Affinity is the thing. He'll still have enough Affinity and mana to play another Thought Monitor is an issue. but he won't be able to play two. Karn plus is to six. I don't really think he's gonna just not play creatures next turn, though, is the issue. Otherwise, if he somehow didn't play creatures, I think the best line would be get rid of, like, Thought Monitor, play Karn, start plussing on your lands, and then follow it up with a Manglehorn or Vivian. But I think since we can't see his hand, we just get rid of Springleaf Drum here. To try to knock him off of some mana. Maybe that was entirely wrong. Maybe I should have gone after Thought Monitor, but I feel like this is a better line. Plays a tap land. Okay. Thought cast. Annoying. Sojourner's Companion. Annoying. Sojourner's Companion. Also annoying. Alright. He has snowballed really hard. We can Manglehorn to get rid of a Sojourner's Companion at least. We have another Manglehorn too. Cast a Manglehorn. Kill you. Yes. Yes. Cranial Plating is really scary right now. Comes in taps, but that doesn't change anything. Nettle Cyst, okay. So we probably blow up Nettle Cyst. He plays Urza's Saga. We'll block Frogmite. Yep. 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 Okay. You, you. Manglehorn. Blow up Nettle Cyst. I think we're just gonna die anyway. This is what I was talking about where they can just, if they start off fast enough and start getting like thought monitor effects, us just blowing up one thing a turn isn't gonna cut it necessarily. Like Karn's only good if we can put it down onto a board that isn't crazy like this. But 
opponent's just loving to make us wait for things and taking his time. So we definitely get rid of Nettle Cyst. We take at least two to Thought Monitor and go down to five. Urza Saga is going to be annoying because it can make boys. But they're enter tapped, but that doesn't really matter. Hmm. We'll see what we draw, I guess. I think we're probably going to need to play Vivian or another Manglehorn slash Gym Razor effect so that we can block more and kill like Sojourner's Companion this coming turn. Or the Urza Saga token, whichever one happens first. Alright, opponent, come on. Yep, yep. Okay. Yes, we will destroy it. I will probably jump block the Sojourner's Companion here. Yeah, I will, so we don't die to Galf Blast. We're just gonna die to this Urza Saga if we don't play a thing that creates a body, though. Yep. Yep. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what our opponent does. If our opponent misplays here, we might be able to get him because of the nature's claim. Like if he attacks us and also Karn. We're in a good spot. Yep, all going face. All right, concede. I don't think there's anything I want to change sideboard-wise. I might actually bring in the Pithing Needle, cut the Abundant Harvest, because I can Pithing Needle Urza's Saga to stop it from activating in case it gets that far. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Alright. And let's see if we can just steamroll them and maybe get a Karn down before they can really do anything this game. That'd be great. Yes. Let's see what our hand is. Our opponent might be having like connection issues or something. This has been kind of ridiculous. Because they shouldn't even have anything to say yes to here, I don't think. Like, I don't know why their clock's ticking down or why they have priority even. Maybe I'm having connection issues? I don't think so. Oh, they were just picking Gigantha. Okay, that's why they had priority. This hand seems pretty bad. It doesn't have any destruction spells. Let's mulligan. Oh. We can't keep this either. No lands on the play is really bad. I hope we don't lose to Affinity, that'd be pretty sad. Game 1 was pretty satisfying though, so I mean... Yeah, we definitely got a mulligan again. 
I mean, maybe our opponent's just gonna clock out. I mean, they only have 11 minutes left and they seem to be taking a full minute each chance that they get. Mulligan. Keep. Okay. So we have car and liquid metal coating. We have to get rid of two things. We don't need liquid metal coating, really. And we don't really need Vivian. Keep. Get rid of you. And you. Done. Alright. Utopia Sprawl. Green. Hopefully we draw like a Manglehorn here so we can get rid of something that they play on turn one. We need some kind of... We need some sort of bodies or ways to get rid of creatures on the board, otherwise Karn's gonna die to combat damage eventually. Depending on how fast their hand is. If they just have a bunch of tapped lands, we might be able to get Karn down while they only have like a Mimnite or something and then kill them. What can Karn wish for? Warm Coil Engine might be good. And Snaring Bridge is probably very good, I bet. Did we see Prismatic Ends last game? I don't think we did. Welding Jar, Spire Bluff Bridge. Okay. Second Karn. Not the best, but not the worst. Let's see, let's see what they do on this turn. <laughs> Hopefully nothing too ridiculous. If they don't play a creature again, we might be in business. Like if they just go... Urza Saga Cranial Plating Pass, we're in a great shape. Because then the Urza Saga can't activate next turn too because of Karn shutting down their mana. We'll see. I don't want to get too excited. They could also Metallic Rebuke Karn. But yeah, depending on what happens to the board, Karn might be down ticking to get in Snaring Bridge at some point. That wouldn't be the worst. He has a Pithing Needle for Karn, we know that, and he can wish for it. So we, But Karn is still just a Stony Silence, so even if it's Needled, it's still pretty good against him. Hmm. No creature? And also no Metallic Rebuke mana. Alright, we have a Nature's Claim. We might just be able to... Play a Karn and not have anything happen. Alright, well, <laughs> that's the game. He didn't have a Frogmite or anything. Um, I don't really know what an Affinity player is doing not having any creatures in their hand and keeping seven. Did they keep seven or six? They mulligan to six. Yeah, they just didn't have any creatures. That was very strange. Alright, well, we're 3 0. I'm pretty pleased with it so far. And I'll see you in the next one.